when they were first introduced, railways completely changed the way that cargo and passengers are transported by land across great distances. And while other options such as container ships may be more cost effective or efficient, rail networks remain the fundamental backbone of the economies of most countries around the world. Normally, each train will have a limited number of carriages that are related to the power of the engines pulling them and the capacity of the railroad they're using, but there are trains that are unbelievably long. So, join me for today's video as we look at 15 of the longest trains in the world. Number 15. The Gone Serving a route that travels between the northern and southern coasts of Australia through cities like Adelaide, Darwin, and Alice Springs, the Gone is one of the most enjoyable journeys you can take by rail in the world and is also the longest passenger train. Said to be an abbreviation of the line's original name, the Afghan Express, which itself is named after the Afghan camel drivers who moved to Australia in the late 1800s, the route was first run in 1929 and provided a crucial connection to the stations it served. By 1997, though, it was privatized and is now operated by Journey Beyond Rail Expeditions as a tourist attraction and an amazing way to see Australia. A train runs on average once a week, and it's usually made up of 38 stainless steel carriages and two locomotives. It averages a length of 2,500 feet, but on occasion can be much longer. Once, it carried 99 carriages, which gave it a total length of 3,900 feet which smashed the passenger record and still managed to complete the entire 1,800-mile journey in under 54 hours. Number 14. The Ore Export Line The Ore Export Line, which is officially called the Sishan Saldana Railway Line, is a 535-mile route that stretches from a network of iron ore mines near Sishan in the northern cape of South Africa, with the port at Saldana in the western cape. Originally built in 1976, no passenger services operate along the line, and instead it's purely used for cargo transport, with approximately 70 million tons moved per year. By using the latest technology, each train that travels along the route has 375 wagons and five locomotives, which gives a total mass of around 50,000 tons and a length of at least 12,400 feet, a figure that makes them the longest production trains on Earth. Incredibly, a train of this size only requires one driver and one assistant to operate, and they're able to travel at speeds of up to 50 miles an hour, so can complete the entire route in around 11 hours. For most of the route, the railway has just one track, but to allow for multiple trains to operate in each direction, there are 19 crossing loops, each of which is longer than the length of the trains, to allow them to pass ones that are traveling in the opposite direction. Number 13. Train du Desert Construction of the Mauritania Railway, which is the country's national railway line, began in 1960, and at first opened in 1963. Consisting of a single line, it stretches a distance of 437 miles from the iron mines in the town of Zuarat in northern Mauritania with the port city of Nuadibu. This takes the track in places directly across the Western Sahara Desert, which has led to it being more commonly known as the Train de Desert, which is one of the most spectacular routes in the world. To maximize the profits from the iron ore being taken to the coast, the trains that travel the Mauritania Railway are some of the longest and heaviest of all. Made up of four diesel-electric locomotives along with 210 cars and sometimes a single passenger car, they carry around 84 tons of material each and can reach 1.9 miles long. In a frightening twist, the lack of passenger service means that the locals will often sit on top of the cars to travel between stations, and this can expose them to extreme temperatures and conditions, and leads to a number of deaths each year. Number 12. Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Circus Trains The Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Circus was one of the most popular traveling circuses across the United States between 1871 and 2017. The two companies merged in 1919 to form The Greatest Show on Earth and would originally take everything with them, from the performers and, controversially, the animals to their big top tents, accommodation, and support vehicles. The company operated two trains, the Red Unit and the Blue Unit trains, that would each travel around the country three times every two years and be scheduled to serve alternating major cities to one another. Amazingly, each of these trains was made up of 36 passenger cars, 4 stock cars, and 20 freight cars, which with a total of 60 cars gave them a length of around 1 mile. They were so long that the organizers had to be extremely careful how they were loaded. Heavier animals such as horses and elephants had to be on the front cars, because if they were anywhere else, they'd be much increased chance of derailment. And even these precautions couldn't avoid a tragic accident in 1994, when one of the trains slid off the track. 
With mounting costs, the circus began to reduce the size of the train by hiring venues instead of taking the tents with them and adjusting the shows. But with increasing pressure about the treatment of the animals, they traveled for the last time in 2017. There are plans to return in 2023, but without any animals and a much reduced scope, it's yet to be seen if the train will ever ride again or if alternative means of transport will be used instead. Number 11. Super Vasuki In August of 2022, Indian Railways, which run service across the country, conducted a trial run of their new cargo transport train. Known as the Super Vasuki, it's absolutely enormous, and the hope is it'll make sending goods by train far more cost-effective and act as a much-needed boost to the economy. Measuring 2.2 miles long, it was made up of six locomotives, 295 cars, and carried more than 26,000 tons of coal, making it the longest and heaviest train to ever run on the Indian railways. The coal was enough to power a 3,000-megawatt power station for a day and is around three times the amount carried by traditional cargo services, and it took just over 11 hours to cover a 166-mile route. Of course, upgrading the network to accommodate trains like this beyond the region tested is a costly enterprise, and there are already concerns about whether Indian Railways has enough wagons to support further trains of this size. The future of the Super Vasuki is uncertain, but if it becomes a regular service, they could well be targeting a world record within a few years. Number 10. Lee Creek Ore Train The first operations on the Lee Creek Railway can be traced back to the 1950s, when increasing quantities of coal were being produced that needed to be transported to Port Augusta, around 323 miles away. The last train to travel the route did so in 2016, but before then it saw some of the largest trains in the world making regular trips in either direction. In an average year, around 4 or 5 million tons of coal would be transported to the coast, with around 13 to 15,000 tons being carried on each train. To manage this, they were made up of three locomotives, a compressor wagon, and 168 coal wagons, which gave them a total length of around 1.8 miles. With a maximum speed when loaded of 43 miles an hour, the entire journey from one end of the line to the other took around 7 or 8 hours, and the aim for the company was to keep each train continually moving, apart from when they were being loaded or emptied. Eventually, the price and demand for coal dropped to a level where it simply wasn't economical to run the line or the mines anymore. But should prices increase, everything was stored in a way that it can be reopened with relatively little notice. Number 9. Norfolk and Western Railway the Norfolk and Western Railway operated between 1870 and 1982 and merged more than 200 other railways to control more than 7,500 miles of track around Virginia, Maryland, West Virginia, Kentucky, and Ohio. While it ran a number of passenger services, the real profits for the company came from cargo transportation, and they were heavily involved in the movement of coal, so much so that one of the railway's nicknames was King Coal. One of the most important routes for this was from Lager in West Virginia to the coastal city of Portsmouth, and the company did all that it could to increase the number of cars on each train and increase their profits as much as possible. This reached a peak in November of 1967 when the railway broke its own record, and in that month it ran a train that was made up of 500 wagons and six EMD SD45 General Electric locomotives. With a weight of 48,170 tons, this particular train had a total length of four miles, a feat that, while possible, pushed available technology to its limits, and the company decided it was beyond the safe and reliable length that they ran them at going forward. Number 8. Amtrak Auto Train Run daily between Lorton, Virginia and Sanford, Florida, which is an 855-mile route, the Amtrak Auto Train is unusual in that it lets passengers travel a distance with their own vehicles on board. There are very few services in the world that facilitate this, and of all of them, the Auto Train is easily the longest. The vehicles are kept in freight cars called auto racks, while the passengers spend the time in coach seats or sleeping cars. And by taking the train, it's possible to avoid driving the I-95 through Virginia, North and South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. It's the most profitable of all Amtrak's long-distance trains, something that's helped by the fact that it can carry 320 vehicles at once. The train is made up of 33 auto rack cars, four coaches, two dining cars, five sleeper cars, and a sightseer lounge plus two locomotives, and has a typical total length of about three-quarters of a mile. While this isn't the longest passenger train to have ever run, it's definitely the longest daily passenger train that's operated anywhere in the world, and has inspired other rail companies from other countries to continually review their operations to see if they can introduce similar trains of their own. 
number seven, the Caraja Railroad. The Caraja Railroad is a railway that connects the cities of Parahuapebas and San Luis in Brazil, which is a distance of around 554 miles. It is one of the longest railways in the country that runs service for passengers and carries an estimated 350,000 people each year. This isn't its main purpose, though, as it is a vital cargo route that transports minerals from the Sierra dos Caraja mines to the ports at São Marcos Bay for export. The dedicated cargo trains are run by Vale, a Brazilian multinational company, and they're invested heavily to increase the volume of material that each one is capable of carrying. A typical train along the route will have 330 cars, with a total length of 1.9 miles, and in an average year, more than 120 million tons of cargo will be transported along it. The length of the trains is, however, dictated by the amount of minerals that are being retrieved and how many cars can be filled, and previous investment means that they are, in theory, able to carry far more cars at once, and when higher-yield mining equipment is brought online, they plan to make full use of this capacity. Number 6. BNSF Railway The BNSF Railway is one of the largest rail freight organizations in the United States, with more than 35,000 employees, 32,000 miles of track in 28 states, and around 8,000 locomotives. With transcontinental routes that connect the east and west coast, the company's trains covered a distance of 169 million miles in 2010, which is substantially more than any other. It's the route between Los Angeles and Clovis in New Mexico that sees the longest BNSF trains, however. And instead of being used to carry huge loads of cargo, this freight train is typically used for moving empty shipping containers. Beginning in 2007, the company began testing the idea of longer trains with cargo that doesn't weigh as much and completely smashed its own record with one attempt. Powered by seven locomotives, one train was made up of 458 wagons in total, which gave it a length of 2.4 miles. It was easily the longest train to have ever operated along a BNSF line, and one of the longest to ever travel in the United States. Although it didn't quite break the overall record, and the company is looking at ways in which this feat may one day be possible. Number 5. Shishnag during the COVID pandemic, passenger trains across India were canceled to prevent people from potentially carrying the disease across vast distances and exposing previously unaffected communities to it. This gave the nation's railway operator a chance to upgrade parts of the network and to conduct tests on other parts, and they decided to operate what was, at the time, the longest cargo train to ever run there. Known as the Shish Nag, it traveled a route between Nagpur and Korba on a line that's part of the Southeast Central Railway and it was made up of four standard freight trains that had been combined together. The total length of the Shishnag was 1.7 miles, and the learnings from that attempt paved the way for setting a new Indian record in 2022. This train, though, was empty, and it wasn't carrying any cargo, so it's not clear if the company believes this is a viable concept for transporting goods in the future, or simply a cheaper way of returning empty trains back to a depot where they can be loaded again. What is certain is that Indian railways are keen on the idea of operating much longer trains, and they could become a common sight across the country within just a few years' time. Number 4. Dachin Railway The Dachin Railway is a dedicated coal transport line in northern China that connects Datong, which is a coal-producing city in the Shenqi province, with Qinghuangdou, which is on the coast of the Bohai Sea. The route itself is 406 miles from end to end, and unlike most railways in China that are operated by the Ministry of Railways, this one is overseen by the Dachin Railway Company Limited. With some of the most powerful locomotives in use in China, there are more than a hundred pairs of trains that run in opposite directions along the line each day at speeds of up to 50 miles an hour, and each one can carry a load of up to 22,000 tons. To do this, they have 210 wagons each, and this makes every Dachin railway train just under two miles long. These are by far the longest and biggest capacity trains that operate in China, and the line was only completed in the early 1990s. With many other routes currently under construction, the success of the Dachin railway is being replicated, and trains more than double this length are expected to be a regular feature of China's railroads in the coming decades. Number 3. Union Pacific Railroad Company the Union Pacific Railroad Company operates more than 32,000 miles of railroads across the U.S. that cover 23 states and make it the second largest rail company in the country. Originally founded in 1862, it operates a number of passenger routes too and makes its tracks available to commuter services as well as operating freight trains. 
With the increased demand for rail travel, it's a complicated process to plan timetables and adapt them when things don't entirely go to plan. So for a company like Union Pacific, the only way to increase the capacity on the already busy tracks, other than building extremely expensive infrastructure, is to run trains with a larger number of cars. The company has been experimenting with this over the past 15 years, and in 2010 set the current record on its network. Transporting around 600 shipping containers that were double-stacked, the train set off from Texas to Los Angeles at speeds of up to 70 miles an hour. This is all the more impressive with the fact that the train had nine diesel-electric locomotives and was made up of 296 container wagons. Weighing a total of 14,000 tons, it measured 3.4 miles long and proved that extended trains are possible, if not entirely economical or practical. Number 2. Tokaido Shinkansen N700 The Japanese Shinkansen is one of the most famous railway networks in the world, not just because of its meticulous timing, but the incredible speeds that the trains are able to achieve along the network. With an ever-increasing population that relies on public transport, though, the trains are already packed full of passengers during peak hours, and there are safety limits to take into consideration regarding to adding extra trains to the lines. Instead, with the new generation of trains that are being used, the decision has been made to increase the length and overall capacity, and the longest of all is the Tokaido Shinkansen N700. First introduced in 2007, the trains aren't longer than many other passenger trains around the world, but they are certainly impressive when you factor in the speeds at which they travel. For most of the routes they operate on, they're able to reach a speed of around 186 miles an hour, and their ability to tilt on the rails around corners means that even then they can keep up to 168 miles an hour. A new version is currently being introduced too, which further increases this top speed, all while keeping passengers in the utmost of comfort. Each train is made up of 14 regular cars and two end cars, and this gives them a total length of approximately 1,300 feet. Having an overall capacity of 1,323 passengers on each train, it's no wonder Japan is regarded as having the best public rail network in the world. Number 1. BHP Iron Ore Train The Mount Newman Railway in Australia is a privately owned route that stretches between Newman and Port Hedland in Western Australia, and it's used by mining company BHP to transport iron ore. It's 264 miles long and regularly sees unbelievably long trains traveling along it laden with 268 cars and more than 15,000 tons of cargo on board. In June of 2001, however, after delays in the route and a huge backlog, BHP had no choice but to run a train with a load that absolutely dwarfed their usual transports. The train, with its carriages, was 4.6 miles long and carried 110,000 tons of iron ore, by far making it the longest train ever operated. The company holds further records on the same route as well. In 2011, they ran another train, this time with 682 cars that was 4.53 miles long. And on this occasion, it carried 90,000 tons of ore, the equivalent of 402 Statues of Liberty. To do this required eight locomotives that were spread out in three pairs and two singles, but amazingly it only needed one driver to operate and managed to complete the entire length of the railway in just 10 hours. Thank you to our channel members.